everyone and welcome to a special Absurd Heroine video. So my Discord and Patreon folks have asked me to do a video of me brewing and like how I brew and what goes through my head and and how I, you know, what I value in deck building. So I have no idea how this video is going to go. This is my first time recording myself actually deck building other than i mean i i've deck built on stream before this is not on stream this is just me hanging out and and building a deck these are all the decks that i have currently that i'm currently play testing at the moment and and running through so <laughs> you can probably look forward to uh, seeing some of these in the future so we're going to be building a deck hold on audio let's actually get some audio here i build for standard thank you very much and what i usually do is when i you know i need something to start with right i need i need like a new idea to start and build a deck around so if i don't have anything specifically that i'm thinking of and i want to go for which is one of the this is one of those times i am not thinking i don't have anything specific planned then I go for, I search for something um, that I think might be interesting. And this is usually like mythics. I'll like just focus on mythics and see what mythics are out there and if there's anything fun to be had with mythics or what have you. But since Kaldheim is still fairly new and I do believe has a lot of unexplored stuff, um, I'm going to just take a look at Kaldheim. And what I do is literally just look through all of the cards until something kind of like hits me as a hmm, I want to build around that and I can already see one I can I can already see a couple actually <clears throat> that I haven't built around yet and Halvar is one of them so let's try building a Halvar deck so auras and equipments so equipments let's let's take a look and see what our crazy equipments are here All right, so another aura equipment card. All right, so we'll think about that. And so when I when I think, okay, this is something that I might want to look at with my deck, I'll just put one of them in. I'll usually keep that as like a tracker. Okay, this looks interesting. I might look at it in the future. And if I put more than one, like Maw the Skyclaves, I'm... I mean, if you play a Halvar deck, you, Mall of Skyclaves is like one of the best equipments right now in Standard. So I'm just going to put a full set of Mall in here. Mace the Valiant is like pretty bad. Unless we end up having like a lot of creatures <laughs> entering the battlefield, Mace the Valiant is awful. Even with that, it, it still makes it very difficult to do. Toralf, eh? Toralf is an artifact, but you can't search for it, right? Wait, let's see. You may attach, so it's attaching, it's not searching. Spectral seal is the searching, right? Return another from your graveyard to your hand, you know. So since Toralf's hammer is not on the front, then that means you can't search for it or get it out of the graveyard as an equipment. But let's take a look. Okay, attach, unattach it, deals three damage to any target and return it to its owner's hand. Equip creature gets plus three, plus zero as long as it's legendary. And Toralf himself, whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt excess non combat damage, Toralf deals damage equal to the excess. Okay, so this is cool. Toralf is cool. But if we're going to try building Halvar, I don't think Toralf is good. Right. Obviously, Embercleave is good. We're going to put one of those in here at least. Akiri. I mean, you may unattach an equipment. It's not, she's not bad. Oops. Wait, what is this? Search your library for an aura card and a recruitment card. Reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your library. Um, sure. <laughs> let's, let's just throw one of those in here for right now. Forging the Trite Sword. Creating treasures, then search for Halvar or an equipment and put them into the hand. Um, I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe maybe 
And like none of the equipments are really kind of interesting. Shadow Spear is not that bad. But the rest of them are kind of meh. Ember Cleave obviously being the best by far. Equip creature gets plus one plus one for each dwarf equipment and vehicle you control. I don't really think that's very good. A two, make a dwarf. Nah. Reckless crew. Number of vehicles plus the number of equipment you control. Mm. I mean, maybe. <laughs> That's a strong maybe. And I don't think any of these are, are good. Deals one damage to a defending player. Crystal slipper. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. So if we're seriously looking at equipments here, Knight or Equipment or Legendary Artifact card. Um, if you control another knight. So we're probably not going to control another knight. Okay. So as far as equipment is concerned, really it's just Embercleave and Maul of the Skyclaves. Everything else is bad. But Halvar also works with enchantments, right? It works with auras. I have a feeling this is really bad, but we might I might want to play test with it just to see how it feels. Shadow Spear is also like, okay, so we'll add maybe two of those, two ember cleaves. I'm not sold on spectral steel and and then she works only with with equipment so right now i'm just gonna go i'm gonna try and go full-on aura equipment so then we have aura so all that glitters seems like an obvious ad All right, so we're going to be Boros, probably. I don't see us being anything other than Boros. We could just be Boros hit hard. I do like a Rose's Blessing, but it's very expensive. It deals four damage. To target creature or planeswalker in our opponent controls. And we could get it back with Spectral Seal. That seems okay. Let's see if we can find... We've got... We, we do have... We do have some good stuff here. <laughs> Other than Reckless Crew, I think. Let's see exactly... Let's, let's put some of this, the good enchantments in here that we're looking at. I mean, I highly doubt we're going to be doing, like, Sentinel's Eyes stuff in here, but maybe. Very much so, maybe. Um, So we'll just put a one of, of stuff that we might end up putting in here. And then we're going to look for creatures. Because we need creatures Um, to, to hold on to this stuff, right? So Battlefield Raptor. First strike is good. Doesn't Maul of Skyclaves give first strike? Does. Flying and first strike. So, like... Thing is, this is just typical... A lot of the typical stuff, right? You load up whatever, and then you have a bunch of protection spells, right? You get all Seed of Life Bounty, like... This is another thing, <clears throat> excuse me, that I think about a lot when I'm deck building is am I just making another deck that has already come out and been fairly popular and is boring, right? So because mono white enchantments with like Luros, that is something that has been played a million times and Halvar might just be another addition, an another like fine addition to that. And that is boring. 
That, to me, is kind of boring. And it is important that we make stuff that isn't boring. Right? I don't, I don't like to make boring stuff. People don't like to see boring stuff. Stuff that's been done a million times. It's like, okay, congratulations, you made that deck that has been made a million times. And we, and that's obviously not where you want to be <laughs> when you're making decks for fun. Because we could put, Fervent Champion's a great addition here. Because equip abilities cost three less to activate. So equipping here would only be two white. Equipping here would only be four. I'm sorry, not, not for, uh, nothing. <laughs> Equipping this would be nothing. So we could do Knight's Equipment. I don't think we really have much in the way of, like, Double Strike. Cole. Okay, this is a... Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return it to its owner's hand. Creature tokens you control that are enchanted or equipped get plus one plus one. That is so specific. Creature tokens. Like, what creature tokens are we going to be making here to equip? Like, I guess, our Reckless Crew? Hmm. So we could make some sort of, like, setup deck. We could make a deck that has a bunch of good equipment that we have put out on the fields, and then we have a bunch of removal to get rid of early threats. And then Reckless Crew. Do they have haste? They don't. Where X is the number of vehicles plus equipment you control. I mean, we could do, let's try, let's try equipment. Equipment only, right? We want coal, mall, I suppose forge is pretty good, right? Let's, let's really try to give Reckless Crew a good shake. What's the worst that's going to happen, right? The worst that's going to happen is we just lose some playtesting games. And since that's the whole entire point of, of this video is to show you what I do, I make decks and I play test them. And sometimes I play test like ridiculous ideas to see how well they go. And sometimes they go pretty well. And then I end up focusing the deck and making them, you know, a, a good little jank, jank deck. Okay, so Reckless Crew forging the the Tyrate Sword. Tyra Tyrite Sword? So now let us seriously look at some equipment here. At all of them, whether they're good or not. Choose a dwarf you control, attach any number of equipment you control to it. And that's an instant. Like, we could do Crystal Slipper. It seems so bad. Like, these all just seem kind of bad, honestly. But Skyclaves is good, Embercleave is good, and Shadow Spear is decent. I mean...
For each of those tokens, you may attach equipment you control to it. We, like, let's just try this dumb crystal slipper. How many? Okay, so we need armed and armored. Maybe only try two of those. Target dwarf you control. So what do we have? What do we have for dwarves here? Oh, wait, I wasn't actually searching for all the equipment we could probably have searched for. Hold on. I really just, I don't like Torolf's hammer, honestly. Maybe this is a Mesa the Valiant deck. Let's just throw it in there and see what happens. And Tormentor's Helm. I feel like... I feel like Tormentor's Helm would be good too. <laughs> this seems so stupid. This seems really dumb, but like... Let's let's just see what happens, right? Cuz let's say you reckless crew, you crystal slipper a bunch of those reckless clue, crew, then you can ember cleave to get in for like a bunch perhaps. Especially if Mace of the Valiant is out. <laughs> like this seems so awful, but I mean there's, there, there might be jank in here somewhere. We need removal. We have no removal. Um. Hmm. Let's just see how this feels first, and then we can add removal later. Okay, so let's do pathway. I just want to see if any of these ideas actually work. And we'll add more Axe Guard Armories to see if, you know, to see how that feels. I'm guessing that this is bad. Search your library for an aura card or equipment card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Yeah, this is bad. Um, then of course, aesthetics matter to me. <laughs> so we're gonna add that. I don't think that there's anything crazy snow wise actually there's some good snow removal we'll add snow removal later um we want to see if some of these actually work some some of these um ideas actually work there's a good chance that none of them do none of them feel good or, or play well so now we play test we jump in for a play test pardon me eh, while i just <laughs> reassess my sitting situation here. My drink has gone cold, which makes me sad. All right. So now we get in and we play test. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Sword of the Realms. I totally forgot that this guy had equipment on the other end. Okay. Gets plus two plus O vigilance. And whenever it dies, return to its owner's hand. So here, as you may have noticed, we don't have any creatures, nor do we have that dwarf thing. So that's fine. We kind of knew that we were going to be very short on creatures. Hold on. I need, um, ah, yeah, here. Um, sorry, I need my deck list. Untapped. And I was hoping to do that. <laughs> I'll have to edit that part out. All right, whatever. It's fine. Okay. Um, so I guess he's our only creature. Sorry, right. everything's fine. We have to trust in the reckless crew, right? Obviously, I think we have way too much. At this point, it feels like we have too much equipment. Yeah. 
and we're playing against rogues, which is like, <laughs> we're in casual crew, friend. We're just trying to have some fun. Okay. Um, so we'll bring it out, even though we have nothing to attach it to. So we can get rid of... Armed and Armored is probably garbage. Mace of the Valiant seems like it would be really fun. We might need uh, just board wipes, honestly. Instead of instead of this stuff going on here. Is there any way that when an artifact comes into play? Yeah. Um, okay, so we're playing against rogues here, and we just we drew a ton of, of equipment. The whole point was <clears throat> to just see how the drawing felt. And how and um and it was obvious that we have like way too too many equipment. We don't need all that equipment. Even if we were to have this be a straight up equipment deck, we do not need nearly as much of this equipment as as we have in here. Um I, I do like the idea of having crystal slippers for a reckless crew. Um, so maybe we don't need tormentor's helms? No, I feel like... Hmm. I would love to have some early creature to like equip some stuff to. Maybe like a lifelinker? Like a beloved princess? Let's try that. Fully equip or beloved princess just full like in full armor stomping down the street. <laughs> um Yeah, let's try that and we'll add two more armed and armored. So I feel like this could be good if we just had stuff on the field, you know what I mean? So let's see, let's see what that feels like. And maybe I should be streaming this. I wonder how people would feel if I just stream this too on top of recording. <laughs> Not a cop, by the way. Uh, alright. This would be wonderful if we had a white mana source. Uh, as it is, I got a mulligan that. Okay. We'll keep this. We'll put... A forging the Tyrite sword on the bottom. We can find a Halvar if we need to. With forging of the Tyrite sword. We still might need board wipes. We might need like doom scars, you know what I mean? So let's get out the Sword of the Realms. Knights? Do we have knights? We have knights! We have ourselves some knights. Uh, so I guess we coal? Do we coal here? Coal might just die. <laughs> Straight up, honestly. Um. But I guess we do, right? It would be silly not to. It'd be silly not to bring out a creature. And if they kill the creature, then... Crap. <laughs> right. But, like, at this point, if we had, like, a reckless crew... Sure. You gonna come in? Hiya. Ah! 
Sure. Okay. Very interesting choice. Okay, armed and armored. Attach any number of equipment to it. Um, we are just gonna maul the Skyclave, though. For right now. Alright. Then we can forging of the Tyrite Sword. I don't know what we're looking for here. Having a land would be good. Yeah, see, I feel like board wipes would be excellent, right? Crystal Slipper. We're gonna do forging of the Tyrite Sword. Um, we'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. So I, I think we're just gonna stay back. Okay. Okay. So nine, ten. No, eight. That's is that still one, two, three? Oh, I'm Brickley. Yeah, of course. Why would you do that? That was the wrong Ember Cleave target. <laughs> you could have just won <clears throat> if you didn't target that. Okay, so the princess. Um, this might actually be really good for us. Hold on. Well, glass slipper. And wheel armed. Oh no, 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 because that only works on dwarves. Oh, she's not a dwarf. That's too bad. Maybe we need that lifelink dwarf, honestly. Um, that's too bad. We can't equip her. What do we want to equip her with? Hmm. I, w I wish we had our Shadow Spear still. If we had our Shadow Spear, that would be excellent. But as it stands, whenever a creature dies, return it to... So that would be six, seven. We would only be dealing seven damage, and we're going to be hit for, like, a lot. So I feel like we have to actually just equip the princess here. No attacks. Hmm. So we block here and we block here. All right. Um So unfortunately, we still don't have a lot of mana, which sucks so we we can't really cast any of this stuff um eh. so it really it really doesn't matter exactly what we do um we do here because he's going to equip or she they are going to equip the ember cleave and the mall on stuff and um so the shadow okay so shadow spear is really good to have we might want um, prophecy. So, so we need removal. We need removal. Um, and considering how few creatures we have, board white removal might not be the worst idea. But what we're going to do first, I think, here, we do want a dwarf. So the princess isn't going to work because she doesn't work with armed and armored. So we, we need a dwarf. I do like the idea of the princess, though. That makes my heart very happy. Um, what is it? Type? Excuse me. Dwarf. Dwarf. And I would love... Runeford champion. Blah, 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 blah. Nope. I would love a... Um, lifelink, right? So Story Seeker is the only lifelink dwarf. Maybe we don't care too much about lifelink. If we have a Shadow Spear out, it's just unfortunate that they killed our Shadow Spear. Ooh. 
could do Rimrock Knight. But I feel that is also not super awesome. Man, we, we really didn't get much much mana, did we? Maybe Magda wants to be in here. Do we want a Magna? This is something that I do a lot. I, I think a lot. And I, I contemplate a lot, mostly quietly talking to myself. Um, which is why I was like, you guys really want to see a video of me doing this? <laughs> Post down below in the comment section if you like <laughs> watching me contemplate. Um, I feel like maybe Magda is the right call over, beloved princess. Man, I really like the idea of Beloved Prince. She does not work with Armed and Armored. Like, why did this have to be a dwarf specifically? That pisses me off. All right. Um, so I guess we do Magda, huh? For the manas? No, we don't. We don't have any dragons. Like, it doesn't seem... That doesn't seem right. So maybe we just... Let's throw in some story seekers. Because they're dwarves and they have lifelink. Which can get us out of some sticky situations. Alright. Let's try it. Let's try this. Um, Did we want removal? We might, we might end up wanting removal here. Let's test it out again without removal here. And then we'll and then we'll add removal. I want to make sure these sections of the deck work first, and then remo removal comes last. As you tweak the deck, as you tweak your jank deck, you do have to think about after you after you get your plan online, and you're like, okay, this is what I want to shoot for. All right, so it looks like we did actually get reckless crew, which is cool. So we're going to keep that. Um, once you get your plan online, then you think, all right, we need to have some interaction. Because this is a two-player game. <laughs> you do interact with your opponent. You do need to have a removal of some sort or a way of protecting your creatures against removal. Um, and I honestly think... Um, that a board wipe wouldn't... Like, with Reckless Crew, a board wipe is not the worst idea in the world. You just get a bunch of your artifacts out, a bunch of your equipments out, and then Reckless Crew. Yeah, so they're gonna kill that. That's fine. We don't care too much about that. We're gonna be casting Halvar... As an equipment, I think. Hmm. A mall, actually. Then we can halvar. Wouldn't mind having some shoes. Where are my shoes at? Um. At the beginning of each combat, you may attach target or equipment attached to a creature you control to target creature you control. So, that, like, tells me... Um, that you can't actually equip this. During... Because it's not attached to a creature that you control, so it doesn't attach to Halvar. It has to be attached to another creature you control. Sure. The box. All right, Mace of the Valiant. That's actually pretty good. No attacks. Halvar might die here. Halvar might die here. Mm -hmm. It 
If I were to be playing this like for a video, I probably wouldn't have passed the turn. I'd probably have given Maul the Skyclaves to Halvar in that case and gotten in. But um, here, I kind of want to test out Reckless Crew and see how well it works. Um, yeah. And this one. So I didn't really get the choice of who I wanted to attach that to. It's interesting. That did seem to be the case, though. Alright, that was not the right thing for them to do. So I'll block here. Um, which kills Torbrand before any damage is dealt. So they didn't want to attack with Torbrand. If they didn't attack with Torbrand, then we would have been dead, I think. Or maybe not, because this human... Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Um. Okay. So now we need... We, we definitely needed, um... Lifelink. Right? We If we had our spear, our shadow spear out... But I think... Do we win here? So this will go in here. Take action. <laughs> we still don't win. If we had lifelink though, oh boy. That would have made me very happy. But we don't. <coughs> Okay, that's fine. That's good. Um, so what I'm seeing is we do need... We do want org wipes. Alright, we don't really care about early creatures. We might not even care about coal. I don't think coal is like a bad addition. But this feels like, if we want a reckless crew, this feels like reckless crew more and more. Um, so maybe we get rid of armed and armored. Crystal slippers are good. We want that other equipment, the one equipment, right? Uh, artifact equipment, this one. Because it's just something that we can cast for one. We want more shadow spears. <laughs> Maybe we want ginger boots? No. We could do Cliffhaven Kite Sail. But honestly, I think we just want more, like, low-level equipments. Mace of the Valiant is hilarious. Uh, maybe we don't need all of these coals? Maybe Ember Cleave is dumb? <laughs> Ember Cleave is not dumb, but... Um, we don't really care too much about Ember Cleave. Forging of the Tyrite Sword is fine. Maybe we get rid of... Do we even need Story Seekers? Like, we might not... Okay, wait, hold on. Kill! Cole. Uh, wasn't it called Cole? thought it was Dwarf. Right. I think we do do coal. We'll craft the fourth one. And then we do board wipes, right? <laughs> so like Doomscar. Let's just see how this feels. We'll put in four Doom Scars. <laughs> because if we're doing Reckless Crew, right? All that we need is equipment. We don't really care about killing our own creatures. We don't really care about killing our own creatures. This is this is definitely bad against control.
because our entire deck is kind of like relying on being able to cast one spell, which is Reckless Charge. Okay, or Reckless Crew. Um, I mean, this is awful, right? It's not going to be super awful if we draw more land, but... Or a... Uh, we, we need a white mana source here. Okay, this is way better. Way better. I don't think we need two of these. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we need all this mana. We need all the mana we can get. Okay, Halvar. Very good. So we have our turn one, turn two, turn three equipment here. Alright. We could actually just do that instead of Halvar, and then keep Halvar for later. We're up against... Shrines? This might be Shrines. Not sure. Birth of Miletus. Okay. We definitely have some weirdness going on here. And if it is shrines, then we might just not be doing too hot here. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, cool. So we've got the mana for Reckless Crew. We're going to Reckless Crew and then Halvar. I wish Reckless Crew's had haste. That's kind of what's killing us is that they don't they don't have haste. And if equipped creatures you control had haste. What in the world? What in the world is this? <laughs> All right. So let's see if they board wipe us. This is looking very board wipey. Looking quite board wipey. I really have no idea what's going on here. Okay, so that's going to be an equipment. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Sure. Are we straight up Alvar now? Um, and I guess... I guess we, we submit zero, right? Can we submit... Cancel. I mean, decline. So it won't, like, that's weird. Alright. Sure. Choose the, choose the one with trample. That seems weird to me. Alright, so this is probably board wipe now. We're not going to be able to see what they attach. Oh, and our Maul of the Skyclave is going to be more expensive. So if we don't draw land, we can't cast it, which is very sad. The nice thing is, though, that I think we do win if they don't board wipe us here. Because we... Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's our first win with our jank stuff, right? Granted, the deck that we were playing against was strange. Though I feel like it was supposed to be controly, which makes me think board wipe, and they just didn't. <clears throat> so let's take a look again. Oftentimes, I'll just look look over more, see what works, see what didn't work, see what we would have wanted <clears throat> to draw, what we what we didn't want to draw. Funnily enough, Mace of the Valiant actually seems pretty good. Excuse me, with Reckless Crew. Um, 
I do feel like we just don't have enough mana. That's that's what happens oftentimes. I just feel like we don't have enough mana, which makes me think Birth of Miletus, but do we want to throw a Birth of Miletus in here for that? Um, I don't know. Maybe we don't want four Shadow Spears. Um, we could add more Forging of the Tyrite Sword to like kind of help get us there. Can we just say F the Doomscar bit? Add, um, armed and armored. I did like the Mace of the Valiant interaction there. That was hilarious. Another Tormentor's Helm and another Shadow Spear. No, another armed and armored. No, another Shadow Spear. Whoops. Okay, let's 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 go back and go back for more. And now this is kind of like what I do now. I at this point we just play, make make adjustments, play, make adjustments, play, make adjustments. And as we're playing the deck, we want to think about um what cards we could draw that would be like the what's the best thing to draw right now and we look at our deck and we see what in our deck we would want to draw and if the cards that we have in our deck we don't want to draw any of them and none of them are good then you really have to consider like taking those cards out of your deck if you're just never like at a point where you're like i want i want that card then that seems like useless and then unfortunately having to mulligan <laughs> feels bad and we only have two mana here, so um, I think we are going to have to put the Reckless Crew underneath. <sighs> that seems like such a waste, though. We need land. We're never, we're not getting up there. Like, ugh. having a mulligan and not getting the land that you need is very bad for playtesting, <laughs> obviously. I guess we should be putting Birth of Miletus in here instead of Forging of the Tyrate Sword. And like that might just be what we end up doing. Yeah. At this point, I would much rather draw Birth of Miletus. Definitely rather do that than drawing a Shadow Spear. You know? Like at this point, we might just. We might want to put in um, Prophecy, right? Because we do have a number of legendary cards in here that we want to make sure that we draw like look at this this is super annoying we should be able to draw <laughs> enough land we should be able to draw enough land you know you know and we're we're just not Turn three, turn four, and we haven't. I mean, we've been able to cast something every turn, which is nice. But we should be at four land now. And we're not. And that, as a play, and when you play testing, that's always super annoying. I mean, and that's just annoying in Magic the Gathering in general. It's one of the things that I really liked about Hearthstone when it came out was because it didn't have to deal with this. Just mana being one of those issues that you just have to deal with. Sometimes you get mana screwed and you just have to deal with it. Look at this. We have drawn more Shadow Spears than we have drawn Plains and Mountains. Like, to me, that's huge what the fuck. <laughs> that is a huge what the fuck for me. Like, can we please? How have I drawn three of my Shadow Spears? Three out of four of my Shadow Spears, and I've only drawn one out of the ten of my planes. 
one out of the ten of my mountains. It's just garbage. Like, one third of my deck is lands. <laughs> uh, this is... Um, this is one of the things that I hate about Magic the Gathering. I don't hate very much about Magic the Gathering. I really love this game a lot. But, um, this part of the game just feels so antiquated. This is the antiquated part of the game. The unbalanced part of Magic that they have just never been able to balance. We're gonna get smacked here real hard, and then next turn we're gonna die. If we don't... If we know what? What are we gonna draw? Nothing. There is nothing that we can draw at this point that will save us from this fate. Cole. We just didn't draw the lands that we needed. Like, we still, we still didn't draw the lands that we needed. How oh, it's just garbage. It just feels so bad. I love magic, and that part about it is just, like, the worst. Okay. Um, so I think we are going to put in Birth of Miletus here. Um, instead of forge the tyrite sword because I don't I don't think that we need to search for art enchantments I mean sorry um equipments I think we have plenty of equipments and do we do we need halvar no we don't really need halvar does it get us does it ramp us it does ramp us a little bit but we have to get to three in order to get there birth of Miletus helps us become more consistent and protects us at the same time so I feel like that is just more valuable. Magic player. Our opponent is magic player. You can't really see the name. <sighs> All right. Oh, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. Because we have things that we can cast. We just have to wait to draw a red mana source. Like, we haven't drawn any of our pathways in any of the games that we have played. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Thank you. Alright, so we're playing against Demir Snow. So this can be Snow... Um, Reanimator? Okay. Um, so I guess we Maul of the Skyclaves here. We could Shadow Spear. No, we'll Maul of the Skyclaves, then we'll Shadow Spear Maul of the Skyclaves next turn. Take that! I now have a flying 2 6 wall. <laughs> okay. So we'll do another Maul of the Skyclaves. Okay. Rewind. That's not one you see very often. Sure. Whatever, man. <laughs> Alright, so we have ourselves a counterspell deck. I don't mind if they want to counter this stuff. So it's just like snow control. I would like to Okay. Well, you're dying. Actually, we don't have any we don't have our haste step, do we? Oh, that makes me so sad. Okay. So reckless crew. None of them have haste, which makes me super duper sad. But whatever. Ashiok's gonna be dead. Hopefully.
Okay. Making a creature? Sure. Okay, um... Let's see. So I guess we attack Ashiok, huh? Okay. So... This one. And we attack Ashiok. With everything, I guess. Depending on what they do. Um, we can armed and armored. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. I would like to kill Ashiok, but um, I, I don't mind killing all of this stuff. Uh, attach an equipment eye control. Sure. <laughs> Having a uh, drawing a Halvar here would be really good. Okay, midnight clock. Sure. Sure. Um, I mean, I, I guess we'll get rid of armed and armored. Surrender. Every morsel of so they have three mana available. My turn. Midnight clock. So I guess we will maul. They probably counter it. Yeah. Understandable. That's fine. I don't mind the milling of all of that. Could we have actually equipped Crystal Splinter? We could have. Whoops. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it wasn't going to... Um, Win us any games here. Okay, cool. They didn't get their board wipe, which I'm sure is what they were trying to get. Trying to search for. Um, okay, yeah. So I think that makes this video around an hour of like me just playtesting and building something. We've won a couple of times. It is fun. It is interesting. It plays with a couple of whoops, really good. Not really good, but really interesting cards. And so I'll probably futz around with it a bit more. Um, I might take out coal and put in more control. Like, put in fire prophecies. Put in four fire prophecies so that we can bin a shadow spear if we have two of- if we draw two of them. Um... And just help us find a reckless crew because that's really what helps us out. And honestly, um, I think we need haste. Let's just do this real quick before. Um, so there are a couple of cards that give all your creatures haste. Drawbridge is one of them, but there is also one in red. Where are you? Took Took Rubble Fort. Creatures you control have haste. Defender and reach. And I think um, that might be worth it. We can get rid of coal. We can get rid of a couple of these. Mace of the Valiant is really funny, but... Um, um, actually, you know what? We can get rid of Crystal Slipper if we put in four of these. So hold on. Let's put in... Mace and Maul. 
we probably don't need armed and armored. This hasn't really done much for us yet. So let's get rid of that too. Um, is there... And then we put in prophecy. And we can then put in... Is there another... Equipment that we could put in here that would work really well? What do we... So, okay. So here... Looking is where we're looking at the curve <clears throat> really helps. So our three slot is filled up. We do not want any more in our three slot. So we probably want more one slot equipment, but I don't know if any of the one slot equipment are, are good enough to put in, honestly. Honestly. We do have Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Kite Sail's not the worst. It doesn't give good stats, but it gives flying. We could do Raven's Wings. Yeah, we're never casting. We're never going to make the Angel from Valkyrie Sword, like ever. We could just throw in ember cleaves. I mean, ember cleaves are really good. And it, so here's here's a, some content creator meta. I know for a fact if I don't put ember cleave into this deck, I'm gonna get like five to ten comments on my YouTube telling me to put like why didn't you put ember cleave in here? And the reason why I personally don't want to put Embercleave in here is because Embercleave is boring. Everybody knows Embercleave. Like, okay, Embercleave is a card that exists. Sure, fine. Whatever. Cool. Is it a very good card? Of course it's very good. It's an amazing card. Embercleave is great and wants to be in here super bad. But I just kind of feel like I'd like to not play with it. <laughs> Whenever a creature or a planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt X, excess combat damage, it deals it to another permanent. Um, we don't really care about that. I guess I guess we do put Embercleave in here. Like Embercleave is really good and it does want to be in here, so alright. Cause like say we took took Rumble for it, like we 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 do like a bunch of equipment. On top of Tuk Tuk Rumble Fording. Um, and then we Reckless Crew. We get like three dwarves or whatever. And we attack in. We could Ember Cleave. Because of how many dwarves we just made. This curve just does really look awkward to me. So let's say... Turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. If we Reckless Crew, turn four, ideally we will have three equipment. We'll attach three equipment. But then we won't have Tuk Tuk Rumble Fort. So if we want Tuk Tuk Rumble Fort, we'd probably want, like, Turn one, one of these. Turn two, two more of these. So we want Tormentor's Helm. What I'm getting from this and what I'm trying to say is that I think having more one mana cost equipment is better than having Embercleave. But is it better than having these, th like, Maul of the Skyclaves and, and Mace of the Valiant? And the answer to that might actually be, yeah. Uh, the answer to that might be yes. Even though they're really good. So let's see. I'm surprised that we didn't see more crystal slippers, to be honest with you. 
We could gold vein pick. really think that any of these are super awesome to be honest with you and i mean that's understandable like one converted mana cost equipments aren't supposed to be super awesome Flying is probably what you want. So like you could just create a bunch of flying dwarves, but they would still be really weak. That's the problem. We could try gold vein pick. So, so this is what I, I'm going to stop the video here. Um, cause it's already really long and, um, I'm also like just kind of done with this right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put in a couple of uh, Cliffhaven Kite Sails and then a couple of Gold Vein picks. I might even just get rid of Maul and Mace to play around with these two cards, right? So we'll just, we'll put in three here and three here. Getting rid of one more, maybe Trouble Fort. So that I can get a feel of how Clifthaven Kite Seal and Goldvein Pick feel. And do another round of playtesting. But I'm not going to do that right now. Because um, I'm kind of, I'm tired of this particular deck at the moment. <laughs> I usually play one for like an hour or half an hour or whatever. And then I go on to another one. And I kind of like cycle through my ideas. And then I will have a fresh mind ready to tackle this deck again later and that's probably what i'm gonna do all right um so eventually once i play test enough with this deck i will have a nice video a nice deck available for um recording for a video later I hope you all enjoyed this little playtesting or deck building video and let me know if you like this sort of thing and I'll make more of them if, if that's your jam. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably, what I should probably do is just stream. I should stream this and then throw it up as a video also. So I kind of like double, double whammy there. Um, yeah. All right. I hope you're all having an excellent week, and I'll catch you around later. Ciao.